Hello and welcome, Katie here. Thanks so much for stopping by. I am back with another project for Missing Stamps. And today we're gonna to use our stencils to create a stained glass effect on our cards. Super easy. The longest part about this is the dry time, but it's fun and it gives a new way to use your stencils. So the only thing that you need is a stencil that's open. So you see all these open spaces. That's what you're looking for for this technique is that type of stencil, something that's open. I'm going to use the Duralar and that's how thick it is, 0 0.005. Now the Lawn Fawn is a little bit thicker, 0 0.007. If you need to use it like within a card base, use the Lawn Fawn. If you're going to use it like a window like I'm using, use the Duralar the lawn fawn is going to give more stability that's the only difference it's a thicker uh, acetate and then of course you need some dye inks we've got gloss heavy gel if you have something from ranger just make sure that it says it dries transparent preferably a gloss because that's going to give you the shine and that glass like look now i'm showing you here that on the liquitex it tells you if you got a white square, it's going to dry clear. If it's got a black square, it's going to dry opaque. So you won't be able to see through it. So you want clear. It's got to dry transparent or clear. Um, and it will say it on the package. Okay. So now I'm going to use some pixie spray and I've got my acetate there. That's just the liner that comes in there uh, to protect it. And then I'm going to burnish that down onto the stencil so that I can get a good clean impression when I do my um, my medium spread, if you will. So take a little bit out. Some, you know, this is a smaller piece, so I didn't need quite as much gel, but sometimes you need more than you think. So you can separate it out, which is what I'm going to do. Um, the only thing here, you want to use a dye ink. So whatever medium you use to color it, make sure that it's going to dry clear. So you could use, if you have tubes of watercolor paint, you could use those because they dry clear. If you have gouache, don't use that. It dries opaque. Best example I can give you. Uh, Reinkers, you could use those. Pigment powders, you can use those because the medium dries clear. The problem with using gouache with this medium is that the gouache has white pigment ink your you know white pigment in it so it makes it dry opaque so you don't want to put something opaque in the transparent medium because it's going to take on whatever you're, you're adding to it so just make sure whatever medium you use to color your paste or your gel it's clear it's got to dry clear okay so now you can see i'm mixing it up that's the other thing mix thoroughly um because the gel try, dries clear, if you don't mix and mix it all thoroughly with the pigment, then whatever spots didn't get the pigment, it's going to dry clear and you won't get the full color payoff. So just make sure you mix it really well. The other thing about uh, the Liquitex that I'm using is, you know, you can see it's kind of thinned and dried. Um, I got had a hair in there, so I'm just digging that out with some tweezers is that this will clean up with water. So um, once I get all done, I'll scrape everything off and take my extra medium, put it back in my jar, and then I'll just spritz everything down with water. Have to do that a couple of times till I get it all cleaned up, but water will clean it up. I don't have to use alcohol or anything special uh, to get this off. I do have a tub set off to the side with some water so that I can throw my stencils and my tools in. Um, and they can kind of soak and keep wet uh, while I'm working on everything uh, and getting my work surface cleaned up once I'm done here. So I'm really just trying to blend these colors together. So that's all I'm doing. You can get as detailed and as intricate as you want with your colors. You could do just one color if you wanted to. Uh, I thought I would just try a couple of different colors, um, you know, and see where we got. So here's the peel, peel reveal. If you want it to be opaque like that, use a paste. Use something that's, you know, says that it dries opaque. So now our panel's dry. We're going to start doing our windows. Excuse me. I've got, 
a hex die and I ran that through the die cutting machine. Now I'm going to trace this out and actually run my card base through the scan and cut to cut this piece out for my card base because you know I just don't want to ruin it you know sometimes when you run things through you get lines from the other cutting pads and things like that and I just didn't want to ruin my card base so it was easy enough to just run it through the scan and cut and now I'm just taking an eraser to clear up any pencil lines that are there but not there and it also kind of smooths out the edges from cutting it now uh, quarter inch double sided adhesive the only mistake I made here was I should have trimmed these edges off a little bit because on the sides they just hang off a smidge um, up close you, you can see that there's you know the acetate is there but it's not a big deal so now we're going to start layering everything together this is actually half inch double sided adhesive for this uh, inside panel and then you know I can't not have a sentiment on my front of my card but because I don't want to cover the window I can stamp on the inside with some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink and you can see right through so these are the other two cards that I did I took that egg shaped die and just traced it ran it through the scan and cut and cut that out and then I used the quatrefoil stencil and did the same thing traced it and cut it out with the scan and cut now the stencils that I used for the egg shape was floral stained glass and then the latte lace is in the quatrefoil in the purple and those are the colors that I used um, all from Lavinia stamps and then of course I used all the stamping was done with the nocturne ink now the extra heavy gloss gel I did in the purple and it was kind of old and really super thick um, so it's hard to tell if it was because the darker colors that I used or if the paste was just, you know, a little off. But that's going to wrap it up, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Be sure and check the description box below for all the products used. And check out Miss Ink Stamps Facebook group and follow us over there. We love to see what you guys are making. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you in the next video.